Welcome to Frog TV's FAQs, I'm Adam Baker. We get asked an awful lot which airport is best to fly into when going on vacation to Costa Rica. Well guys, I personally think there are three things to consider. Number one, uh, where are you coming from? If you're coming from North America, Mexico, or principally the US and Canada, you'll find that there's lots of airlines going into both airports here in Costa Rica. Now, Costa Rica has two principal international airports. Number one being the San Jose Juan Santa Maria Airport right here in San Jose in the middle of the country. And number two, the Liberia International Airport up in the Guanacaste province in the north of the country. Now, if you're coming over from Europe, a bit further afield, you'll find that most direct flights go straight into San Jose in most cases. If you connect via the US, especially on the, uh, on the East Coast, you get a lot of options coming into both airports. But you'll find American, United, Delta, Southwest all have a great variation into San Jose and Liberia. Check out which airline makes sense for you. Now, based on this information, of course, the most important thing is your vacation plan. Where are you starting your vacation and where are you ending? Now, if you're coming like most people for maybe a week, nine days or 10 days, and you're doing a couple of different uh, activities and you're starting in the Arenal Volcano area, that's actually equidistant between San Jose and Liberia. Arenal is right in the middle of three hours, so either airport works. But then after three days, perhaps you're looking to head to the beach and you're going down to the Central Pacific coast. If you're staying in the party beach town of Hako, or Manuel Antonio, famous for its uh, beautiful beaches and rainforest and national park. Going in and out of San Jose makes the most sense as it reduces time on the ground. Manuel Antonio is about two and a half hours drive from San Jose and Hako is just over an hour. So San Jose makes the most sense. If you're starting your vacation uh, flying into San Jose and then heading to the Caribbean side, maybe Tortuguero or Puerto Viejo, before going to perhaps the Arenal Volcano or the Monte Verde Cloud Forest, and then heading down to the south or the central pacific, the Osa Peninsula, again, Mount Antonio, San Jose is the best option for you. But if you're coming to Costa Rica for five, six or seven days, and you're just looking to be by the sea, relaxing, perhaps you're in the north of the country where some of our most beautiful beaches are found, uh, the Papagayo region, Playa del Coco, Tamarindo, Playa Flamingo, Liberia is the best option for you. Liberia is only 25 minutes away, more or less, uh, from Papagayo or Coco, and about 45 minutes to an hour away from the Flamingo Tamarindo region. So in and out of Liberia makes the most sense. Again, if you're going uh, to the Arenal Volcano and then finishing your vacation in Guanacaste, try and go in and out of Liberia as well. Liberia um, airport's a lot smaller. It's really relaxed. You don't see as many people, but there are fewer flight options. San Jose is the principal airport. It's a lot busier. Um, so you will find a lot more flight options throughout the day, all day long. Of course, you can ask your airlines, maybe you're flying into San Jose into the middle and then going around the country for two or three weeks and finishing in the north and then you fly out of Liberia. That could also be an option as well. Hope you guys found this uh, information helpful. If you have any questions for us regarding flights, let me know in the comments box below and I'll get straight back to you. We also have a link there for our definitive guide to flights to Costa Rica. So check it out and hopefully you'll find all the answers you're looking for. Give us a like and a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And of course, please don't forget to subscribe to stay in touch with everything Costa Rica related. For Frog TV, I'm Adam Baker. Hasta la próxima.